Okay. Z88. I've had this for a while, um, but was unsuccessful getting any software onto it. Um, it's uh, Uncle Clive's last gasp, really. Um, it's There's not a lot to it. There's a power there, contrast, button there. We have um, a serial port that... Uh, well, that's about it, really. Uh, we have three bits there. You can stick in EEPROMs and RAM packs and stuff like that, of which I have none. Um, the serial connection, uh, as far as transfers, isn't standard, which is why I've never managed to get anything to work, uh, transferring files and stuff. Um, but I did eventually get a cable, as you can see there, PC Link, um, which has made it all work. Uh, it's the standard um, portable computer of the time, um, non laptop, you know, so we've got basic, we've got um, Pipe Dream is a kind of word processor spreadsheet. Uh, people who seem to know about these things uh, rate it quite highly, even after all these years, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I find it a torture to use, but never mind. Um, getting files across has been a pain in the arse. Um, the software now works. Um, we are at our trusty Amstrad here, and um, I'm using um, Z88 Link, I think it is. Um, Z88 File Transfer version 1, 1988. Um, which does uh, to and fro and port speed, the usual sort of stuff. Allows you to transfer um, I think Word Star, I think it is, could be Word Perfect, I'm not quite sure. Um, files across um, and does the conversion on the fly. Now, problem is, um, while there's software out there, Kingdom Bass, for example, um, the problem is that these things are a bit. If you open one of them up, um, as you can see, it's all a bit of a mess. Um, and it arrives at the Z88 that way as well. Um, and then doesn't work. Um, that's when I'm using input output. Um, input output, should I say. Um, it may be that sending it across the terminal might solve that problem for me with a bit of um, uh, hotkey wizardry. But at that point in time, I've not found it. So just now, I'm using import export. We go for that. And we go for receive. And the file in question is called maxit.cli. Over here, we shall do the same thing. Send to the Z88. And we'll call the file maxit.cli. It'll ask whether I want... Nope, that's telling me I've got the name wrong. What's the file called? Max it to see it. Oh, I've got the wrong bloody disk in, that's my problem. There we go. Right. Max it dot C L I. Do I want to send it across as raw data or word star? Raw data is what I want. Go back to the C88. Click that across there. Click that. It starts sending it. Um, I think it's 600 baud. Where we're at, and as you can see, it's transferring across. Now, this is a CLL, CLI file, uh, and they're a bit different. Um, I'll show you back up here. These are, as you can see, more standard. And that little bit of code at the top um, allows, up there, um, the hash b.jnu, um, allows the word processor, or allows the um, word processor file manager um, to deal with it, to execute it, which it can't do with normal basic files. What that means is, we'll come out here, and we go to uh, the filer, just there, and we're then going to go and execute the file we've just sent across, and we want maxit.cli and it runs it through then dumps it into the basic interpreter runs BBC basic and um, all the uh, sound and graphic commands have been stripped out of it um, which is more of a problem than you would think there's a couple of the VDU commands still in there um, but they're different from BBC basic uh, the files that you would 
I assumed that the NC100 files uh, would be reasonably compatible, but every single one failed uh, doing it this way because uh, they were using the various move and draw commands and VDU commands liberally throughout, so it never really worked. So I struggled to find anything that was going to work on it apart from just sitting down and writing stuff myself. Now, as you can see, this is uh, transferring the file that I sent across, running it through um, a process internally in the machine, and then outputting into the basic interpreter. Um, how big is this file? We go up to um, line 4220 actually, so that's a wee bit of time. Um, but we'll get there in the end. Um, it's a nice wee machine, AA batteries. Um, lasts for an age, as you can imagine. Take that off there. There we go. Um, it's doing its thing, don't have to worry about that. Um, it's got a wee stand at the back there, um, which flips up and down, depending on what you want. Um, it's got a rubber keyboard, um, which means that it's silent, and it also, as you can see there, gathers dust, which then doesn't just wipe away. Um, it has its own wee command keys. That one there, for example, you can use to... You know, you, you press that, then you type in kill, and then it stops whatever program it is. Um, and that also, it's kind of Apple key, command key um, idea there. Um, which, again, if you're not familiar with it, and there's obviously lots of um, ways of using them, um, which, if you're new to this machine, um, takes a wee bit of getting to. What, what number are we at now? We're nearly finished. It was 4220. I guess I must have pressed keys. So, that file is now in there. So I should be able to run. There we go. Game of Max it. Do you want instructions? No. One player. It's actually a pretty cool wee game, actually. I do like it. Really simple. I've never actually played it before in anything else, but I'd be very surprised if it didn't exist somewhere else. Um... You've essentially just got to try and pick off numbers, and eventually you get forced to start picking off negative numbers. You against the computer, and the person with the highest score wins. I can only move horizontally using the uh, spacebar. And it is at 80, and it's turned out. Very good. Anyway, took an absolute age to get to that point, um, but it's there now. Uh, there might be a way. As said, going in through uh, terminal and um, transferring files that way. I've not quite mastered that one yet. Uh, the other issue, of course, is that um, without any memory expansion uh, or EPROMs or RAM packs and stuff like that, uh, it, it is limited. Uh, a lot of the programs I've found simply once you transfer them across, you get out of memory errors uh, straight away. So, no so good. But anyway, it's working just now. I now have a game on it, and um, I've also found some new materials online away from the Rakewell site, which is the site that you keep finding if you do Z88 stuff, and um, to a whole bunch of other folk. Um, and I've now got a book that I can work with. Cambridge Z88 from good old Uncle Clive.